Hello and welcome to Tutorials by Larry. My name is Larry King and today I'm going to teach you how to build an automatic drilling machine using Minecraft Create. Now one thing that is unique about this particular design I'm going to show you today is that it is actually safe from pockets of lava and pockets of water. Sometimes the automatic drilling machines can hit a pocket of water or lava and they can collapse or fall down a hole or uh, get flooded out or have some problems and um, this actually has some safeguards in place to help prevent that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here's what you're going to need to make this build happen. You're going to need 17 deployers, 12 mechanical drills, 40 linear chassis. You probably won't use all those, but that's a pretty good number to go with. You're going to need a cart assembler. You're going to need one mechanical plow, a mine cart with furnace, and then you're going to need some supplies. So you'll need a couple of levers, uh, some barrels, some chests, and then you're going to need some coal, and I recommend probably about three stacks of cobblestone. I'll explain why later. And you'll need some rails, and a slime ball, and some super glue to hold everything together. So here's how you do it. The first thing I usually do is I will lay down some rail, just like this, three in a row. And then grab your card assembler and pop it right over the middle one. The next thing you want to do is grab your minecart with furnace and stick it right under the cart assembler. And then usually what I'll do at this point is I'll grab my lever and if you hold down the shift key and right click, it'll attach it to the right of the cart assembler. Now what this does, if I just right click on this, it actually engages the cart assembler and what it usually does is it lifts up the whole entire contraption. So we don't have anything attached to it yet, but I will show you how this works in a second. Okay, so grab your linear chassis. Now, if you've never played the Create mod before, what linear chassis basically is, it's sort of like scaffolding. It holds everything together, and you can attach stuff to it. So grab your linear chassis. We'll stick a piece there. And then I'm going to come back a couple. And then we'll stick one down here. Okay, now grab your mechanical plow. And what this will do is as this whole contraption moves forward, the mechanical plow will basically scoop up the railroad tracks and recycle them back into the system. So if I right click on this now, see how the whole contraption lifts up? That's a good way to test as you're building this what items are glued together properly and which ones are not. If they don't lift up, then you need to make sure that they are super glued properly. Okay, so let's go ahead and what we're going to do is go forward at this point. We're going to lift it up a little bit. So I'm going to grab another one of these linear chassis and we'll stick it right above here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of those deployers and I'm going to attach it here, point it straight down. And what that's going to do as this thing moves forward, the deployer is going to insert railroad tracks right in front of the minecart here. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our deployers. And then I'm going to just right click it right here. And that's not pointed the right way, so let's grab our wrench. And keep clicking until it points down. Now, this is very important. What you have to do for any deployer is you have to basically tell it what is it that it's going to deploy. So in this case, it's going to be sticking railroad track down onto the ground. So grab your railroad track, bring it up to the little filter section here and right click. And that tells the deployer what it's going to be deploying. So let's right click on this again, make sure the deployer is properly attached and it is not. So let's grab our super glue. Perfect. Okay, the next thing, we're gonna grab some more linear chassis and keep moving forward with this. We'll attach one there, another one here, like so. And what we're gonna do is we are going to take more of these deployers and we're gonna have them pointing straight down from here. What these guys are gonna do is they're going to insert cobblestone into the ground, but they're only gonna do it if there's an empty hole. So say this thing's moving forward and there's a bit of a chasm that's right here. These guys will stick a piece of cobblestone right in front so that it can continue moving forward and not fall off of a cliff. OK, 
Okay, so of course it never aligns properly the first time you do it. Grab my wrench. Perfect. And then we'll do the next one. It's kind of cool. The crate mod now in this new version has these sort of connector animations that happen. So you can easily guide the next item. Okay, now again, these guys are going to be deploying cobblestone. So we want to put cobblestone into the filter. Perfect. Now, these probably aren't attached, but let's test it. They are not. Nothing there is attached. So we're going to grab our super glue. Okay, everything is successfully attached, and we can go forward. Grab your linear chassis, and here's where we attach all the drills. Do the final row down here on the bottom. Okay, then we're going to do one more row right along the top. All right, now, right on here is where we're going to attach all of our drills. Um, usually I'll do sort of one final check, make sure all these pieces are lifting properly when I right-click this. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, let me show you how I like to do this. Now, what you want to do is get your slime ball, and just go ahead and paint this whole surface here. Because everything we're sticking on here is not going to automatically stick to the linear chassis. Now, the way I like to do this is I will put all of my drills in the middle and I will surround them by deployers all the way around the edges. And what will happen as this thing moves forward, the drills will cut out this middle section, and the deployers, if there happens to be an empty cavity or an empty space, they will push a piece of cobblestone forward into that space. And then as this thing moves forward, these guys will push a piece of cobblestone down here and create a path below the cart. So, let me show you how this looks. Grab your deployers, and let's stick the first one down right here. Since we're not digging down in the bedrock area, I'm going to use cobblestone for my filtered item. So, grab your next deployer, and then just keep repeating this process until you get to the very top. And then go ahead and put the deployers all the way across the top row as well, and make sure you Put the cobblestone in the filter. Okay, now we're going to put our drills down. You just simply right click in any of the green area here and they'll stick right to the linear chassis. Okay, now we have drills going all the way down to the ground. We have deployers. They all have cobblestone in their filters. And then we have the same thing going on here. Deployers with cobblestone in the filters. Now, what we have to do next is we need to attach a barrel to this whole mechanism that will have all of the source material inside of it. So what's going on is this thing moves forward. It's going to need cobblestone and it's going to need railroad tracks in this deployer uh, in order to sort of populate these empty spaces. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach a barrel right to the back here. And then let's stick in some cobblestone. And we'll stick in some railroad tracks. And we're also going to need some coal for our minecart here. It needs coal to move forward. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to get some more linear chassis here. And I'm going to sort of extend this out so that I can attach some chests to this whole mechanism. Because what happens as it goes forward and drills, it's going to gather all the resources that it's cutting out. And that's got to go somewhere. So you're basically going to capture it inside of these chests here. So grab your chests. And we'll stick some more chests right on top as well. And we have space for a barrel right in the middle there. Okay, I'm going to do one final check here with the switch. Perfect. Looks like everything lifted. And these deployers did what they're supposed to do. They have an empty space here, so 
they literally inserted a piece of cobblestone. And that is basically it. So let's go ahead and test this drill out. Okay, so what you want to do now is you want to grab your wrench, and while this whole mechanism is in the up position, take your wrench and right click on the minecart. And what it just did here, if you look in my inventory, I have this thing called a minecart contraption. It literally took that entire entire drill and all the chests and all the items that are in the chest and it put it inside of one inventory item. It's really cool. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get these items here. We're going to need them for where we're going to go do our drilling. Okay, this place looks perfect to test our drill. So to deploy this thing, grab your rail, lay down three tracks like we did before when we built it. Get your cart assembler, stick it right over the middle one, and then we're going to take our contraption and just right click on the middle rail. Boom. It just brought our, our entire drill system. So, a couple things we want to test before we start getting this thing going. Make sure you have plenty of source material. This should be plenty because what happens is it moves forward, it's going to start breaking up the stone into more cobblestone and then it's going to put that in the chest and it'll use that as the future source material. So really uh, the only things you got to worry about the most are going to be the rail and the coal. And we probably don't need this much rail. Um, that much coal is going to last quite a while. So let me show you how this thing works. So go ahead and grab a lever and shift right click. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the lever to raise the whole contraption. Perfect. And then just right click on the minecart and watch the magic happen. So you see what it's doing here? It's laying down the railroad track. It's building this nice little shell around the entire drill contraption. And it's only doing that in spaces where it needs it, right? So you can see there was already dirt here. It only put cobblestone down in the area where there was just air. So usually what I'll do at this point is I'll grab some torches and I'll just sort of run behind the minecart and just uh, watch it do its thing and let it drill for a while. Okay, when you're ready to pick your drill up and you've drilled enough, just grab your wrench and right click on the minecart. Now, I literally just drilled for a couple of minutes and look at how far it got. Try to imagine how long it would take to drill this by hand with your pickaxe, even if it's a really good pickaxe. Okay, now if you want to see what your drill gathered, just uh, right click on these chests here. Of course, there's more up above, but this really didn't drill for very long and you can already see that uh, it's already started gathering quite a bit of cool stuff here. So yeah, this is definitely the best way to drill a mine shaft in Minecraft if you have the crate mod. And I highly recommend it. It's not a hard build and uh, it's definitely a lot of fun. Well, I just want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate you checking out this tutorial. If you liked it, I'd definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'm going to keep trying to make more content for the Minecraft crate mod and for Minecraft in general. Anyway, hope you all have a great day and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.